Hello you guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Anya. I'm a Tekken competitive player, content creator, and everything in between. And today, I'm just gonna explain to you as fast as possible <laughs> what the heat system is in Tekken 8. So if y'all can see right there on there our health bar, you see another little bar that is blue. That is our heat meter. And uh, how to activate it, that's gonna be the first thing. So. Uh, you can activate it with 2 plus 3 at the same time, and that is called a heat burst. You will activate it uh, just, just by pressing those two buttons at the same time. Of course, you can also use uh, the binds that come with the game. You can set that up if, if you are inclined to. Now, note that this spends approximately like a third of the bar if you just do it this way. And it is now linear. With the latest patch, it is a lot more linear. So it's easier to walk to the sides if you decide to kind of like get rid of the pressure or just activate it this way. Uh, those are the downsides. You can, of course, also use it to extend combos if you wish to. You can just add it to your combo and uh, that's basically going to give you kind of like a, some extra uh, things that you can do in your combo. Uh, so yeah, that is uh, the heat burst. Now, the heat burst is not the only way that you can uh, start your your meter, your your heat meter. So the other ways that you can start with this is uh, with the heat engagers. Now, these are different for every character, but it's gonna be something like that. Some power crushes, you know, like some key moves are usually gonna be the heat engagers. So that's for you to explore and figure out uh which ones are heat engagers so this this is gonna cost kind of like a heat dash and you know you get kind of like a mix up because you get plus frames when you go in like this with the with the heat dash that that is called a heat dash when the character runs like that ooh, that is <laughs> that is a heat dash you have some plus frames there to work with um now let's say that you already have heat activated and you do heat engager again plus you hold forward okay so you do any heat engager once you have activated uh heat you hold forward and this is gonna guarantee some extra damage whether that is just a small follow-up or uh a full combo so for example with oscar uh size step two is gonna be a full launcher if we if we hold the okay sorry let me do that again <laughs> june is blocking and we're gonna have her not block okay so yes um she's gonna launch with side step two that is kind of like the effect that you're gonna get when you do a uh, heat engager once your heat bar is activated and it is also a launcher now like i mentioned not every single heat engager is a launcher some of them are just gonna give you a smaller follow-up um there is one more concept that is general uh which is the heat uh smash and that is just basically like a big move, right? Like for example, Asuka has this dive kick, it breaks the floor, etc. Uh, some other characters are gonna have different properties. Uh, for Asuka, for example, if you, uh, if they block your, your uh, heat smash, it's gonna have some plus frames. Gonna, you're gonna have some plus frames. Now, not, not all of them are safe. Uh, for example, June has a unsafe one because it's a low so usually like if it's a low heat smash and she also has two heat smashes so some characters are gonna have different inputs that's kind of like uh, it can be you know specific to every character but yeah a lot of heat smashes uh, when they are low those are gonna be punishable are uh, usually anywhere anywhere between between like 14 minus 14 to minus 15 frames um, the other use that we can have for uh, the heat that is somewhat common not not every character has it but it's also going to change properties of certain moves not only the heat engagers but other moves such as uh, lost nunchuck for example lost nunchuck when he has heat activated it becomes safe uh, so there's going to be certain moves that are like that so that is my super quick explanation for the heat system in Tekken 8 if you guys have any questions doubts etc y'all let me know in the comments i hope this was useful for y'all i'll see you soon